it's a it's a kur but ba mudimu i don't know what if I, what if what if you're dating him and he's got a child that's older than you how about that i swear these questions are making me sweat and it's not even sunny outside hey everybody welcome back to the channel um it's a cold and dreary day today so i kind of figured that I am going to answer the questions that I put up on, I put up a, uh, what is it? I put up a Q&A uh, on Instagram and I said that I'll be doing a relationship Q&A and asked you guys to ask me some questions. The questions that I got are a lot and because of that, I'm here. I'm here. So going to be drinking <laughs> and answering these questions, but I got a lot of questions. So I might do two parts to this video as opposed to doing one because then it'll be really, really long. So definitely we'll do two parts to the video. We're going to answer them anyway. We're going to talk, we're going to chat and I'm going to pull them up on my phone right now and we're going to get started. Okay. So I asked the questions on Instagram and I also asked it in, um, my community tab on my youtube channel if you're not following my youtube channel why please do subscribe comment click the notification bell please make sure you know when i drop a video so because like videos like this who wouldn't want to know right yeah these don't pull any punches like these questions are really hectic so there's no let's start easy and then work us the way up no, there's none of that so we're just gonna start and get right into it the first question is and i'm not going to mention the names because i feel like these are really personal questions some of them so we're just gonna keep it anonymous for everybody um uh, one of the questions is do you think going back to your ex-boyfriend is a good move although you have forgiven him so i'm already assuming that although you have forgiven him means that he's done something that is bad but then you manage to get him to get yourself to forgive him do you go back i feel like this is a really personal question um if i was in this position i would definitely answer that it depends on what it was that happened it depends on how strong your relationship is it depends on what you want for the two of you so if you feel like and Nafuti, you know, it also depends on whether you can see that someone is really remorseful for what they have done. Um, really, it depends. Listen, there is a huge, huge mark on it depends on what they've done. That would depend on the strength of the relationship. That would depend on really what you have built and whether you think it is worth salvaging if it's not and you emotionally can't get yourself past it, then it is always definitely just do what works for you, do what's best for your heart, and move on. Okay. Two, <laughs> is it wrong to date someone older than your father? So, I might, I might be whacked for the response that I'm going to give here because, I mean, it's, it's seen as a norm nowadays, is it not? I mean, it's seen, it's seen as like, you know, you date whoever you want to date. You, you're with whoever you want to be with. Hey Amen. There's some people that are younger than me that are with people that are older than my father. It's one of those things. But I feel like I would love to say that love has no age. <laughs> If you really, really love somebody and they love you back and they treat you that way, um, then really, I mean, each to their own. Be with whoever you want to be with. Uh, for me, personally, typically, I really wouldn't. I feel like there'd be too much of a... It's a big age gap where I'm not quite sure that that person will understand my needs at my age at this time and whether I will be understanding of his needs at his age at his time. And a lot of the time if you're dating somebody that's older than your father, chances are that person has children and has been divorced or whatever, you know, you need to take all of these things into consideration as well. So it is really internally up to you whether that it is something that you know you can love somebody but love is never really enough to make a relationship work there's all those other factors that you'd have to consider and put into play like will it be possible will it be possible will i get along what if what if what if you're dating him and he's got a child that's older than you how about that 
because when that is the case then then you have an oh, it's it's a whole nother issue to deal with then it's a whole nother issue to deal with so for me personally i say each to their own if you want to date somebody that is older than your father great uh if you love each other and you love each other for the right reasons and you're with one another for the right reasons i don't i really don't see why not but as i said each to their own each to their own is giving your base space a bad thing if he seems cold or moody if he's seemingly cold or moody i genuinely feel like before you are a partner in a relationship you are an individual so there's certain times even when in a relationship where y'all don't probably want to be around one another or some someone in the relationship one of you is going through something and they might require a little bit of space i feel like your person being called you need to also gauge what kind of person they are so if they're normally free and loving and happy and happy-go-lucky jolly free spirits and all of that and then you realize that this person is suddenly being cold and what have you then they're probably going through something giving them space there's no harm in giving anyone space it doesn't necessarily mean disappear and wait for him to come back to you it just means that you know maybe you might not talk throughout the day as often as you do at the end of the day you also do want to show care and you want to show concern so it is always a good thing to ask like is everything okay are you all right um if the person says listen i don't want to talk about it right now that's fine you have to give somebody the space your person the space to actually go through what they're going through because um you know that if you give them that space they come out better at the end of the day you know but if it's too long if it's then dragged out uh you might have to really delve deep into actually trying to find out and ask because then obviously it's compromising the tone of your relationship it's compromising where you guys are uh emotionally even at that point but there is really nothing wrong in giving your partner some space um yeah if somebody outwardly says give me some space you know it's it's everything is all in context i feel everything is in context but there's definitely nothing wrong i mean i know that when i am if it's that time of the month or whatever i'm often very moody and i'm often very ginar ginar and i don't necessarily want to make chit chat i'm normally bubbly and what have you but i always have to look at you and <laughs> What's your take on boyfriends not financially providing to their girlfriends? So This one is a little bit hectic especially in today's society where people seem to feel that men financially taking care of women is the standard. We live in a society where that is seen as the standard. Uh personally, I don't know if I'm the correct person to answer this because I feel like I need to financially take care of myself before I worry about someone financially taking care of me. However, however, um I don't see any wrong in your partner doing nice things for you if they can dependent on their pocket. The problem is I feel like just because your partner is working, you expect miracles from your partner, which is which is a little bit unfair. Um I feel like if you are in a position with your partner where you're both working, you need to understand I'm a terms and conditions. Everything comes with terms and conditions. You can't expect a Gucci bag from someone who doesn't earn a Gucci bag salary. Do you understand what I'm saying? But and 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 the thing is why walk into that kind of relationship if you know that chances are it's not what you're going to get. So if we're talking about financially providing if just the basic things if you are running short on cash for a b c z or if you run blah, blah blah and your partner helps you out here and there definitely i agree that that is definitely a thing that should be a thing in relationships where we take care of one another i don't uh view a relationship where uh, my partner should overwhelmingly take financially take care of me i it just it just uh maybe i grew up a different kind of way but i feel like if you're going to expect that from someone else start by doing it for yourself before you can expect that from someone else you know what i'm saying i hope i'm making sense but um there's nothing wrong with it but at the same time i feel like do not raise the standards 
to become so impossible that it makes life a little bit difficult for your partner. Then you're not in the relationship for the right reasons. Okay. The next question is, can a girl really move on and continue in a marriage where she's been cheated on throughout? Now, when I read this question, uh, <laughs> I was, do you mind? <laughs> when I read this question, I was set back a little bit because one, I, 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 I am, have, I'm not married. I've never been married. However, if I'm speaking for someone who's been in a relationship, for years and years and years on end and I've been cheated on throughout uh, would I think that it's safe to stay no continue I continue on in the relationship absolutely not if you know and if you know that you've been cheated on throughout and you continue to stay I really feel it speaks a lot on your self-esteem it speaks a lot on uh, just it's just how you see yourself I feel like it's it's um, I know I know that I can imagine that it can be hard to walk away from somebody that you love um, but if somebody continues to make you a Popeye throughout <laughs> I use that term a lot but if somebody makes you a Popeye throughout over and over and over and expects you to stay then they're going to not expects you to stay and yet you stay then they're going to do it because they constantly over and over and over and over because they know that you're not gonna say anything um okay. staying i really wouldn't personally recommend but i do not know i've never been in a space where i'm constantly cheated on and over and over and over i typically walk when it's time to walk but i really don't see it being helpful in any way for your mental health and your mental stability um yeah i don't know no <laughs> i feel like i don't know <laughs> what is this new trend of situationships how did we get here listen situationships Monogamy is not even really a thing now. People introduce, there's a show that we're watching, well, that I'm watching. I try to get someone to watch it with me, but it's not taking it seriously. There's a show that I'm watching called Why Women Kill. And one of the situations in the show is like a, a multi-person relationship. Like it's a relationship of three people. And I feel like it's a thing. It happens now. I don't know whether it's a millennial thing. It's a, it's a kurbatwa mudimu. I, I don't know. I, I, my take on it is it can never be me, basically. My take on it is that it's great. I feel like if people want to explore and add a third party to their relationship and let's all drink together, sleep together in the same bed, let's all do whatever, that's great. Good on you. And I feel you have a wonderfully big heart to be able to do that. Yaka is like this. Unfortunately, I cannot. It can never be me. I... I but it's a thing that is happening and I feel like you know people don't have a problem with it and I feel like if you don't have a problem with it and the people involved don't have a problem with it that's fine if you're doing everything safely securely uh, that's fine I really each to their own man I feel if if there's no one judging you on having a monogamous relationship with someone where it's just the two of you why should who are we to judge people who are in relationships with five other people who are we to judge that? However, I'm just saying personally, for me, could never be me. See, if my, my, if my person comes to me and says, listen, can we bring in somebody? I'd be like, no, because it's, it's just not for me. How um, okay, how do you get over cheating? <laughs> okay, let me powder it up. Okay. This is a very hard one, but I'm not going to say that it's impossible to get over cheating. You can. Um, I feel like <sighs> getting over cheating or a partner who has cheated on you is very highly dependent on, again, your relationship, where you are, how remorseful this person is, and are they committed to changing their behavior? And if so, what are they doing to show the steps in that, okay, I know I done fucked up, I'm trying, I'm sorry, I know I done messed up, I'm trying to get 
us to a place where we once were and whatever um one thing that is a fact you are the trusting part <laughs> Is damn near gonna take forever to get to that point and in fact you just might not trust that person ever again the way you used to you'll trust them again but it's always going to be with a pin no, not a pinch of salt it's always gonna be with a grain of salt you're never really gonna completely fully be in a space of comfort knowing that you know you're gonna be he's fine he's where he says he is he's doing whatever he says he, he said to you that he's doing and whatever you're always going to take everything that they say with a grain of salt whether you can get over it dependent on your relationship and the bond that you have with that person and whether you want it to go on whether you want to have a fully fledged relationship with that person do you want to build a future with that person and it also really depends on you know how can you get over cheating what happened what happened? Did this person have a fully fledged relationship outside of you and his relationship? Did this person have a one night stand? Did this person do whatever? It really highly depends on context is very important in this case. Very important. Um, I feel like personally for me, if somebody's building a relation, literally has a, has a side relationship outside of, uh, it's, 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 it can't be me. Whether you can get over it, only you know. I feel like you get to that place when you're confronted with it. It's easy for us to sit here and say, oh, nah, I could never. If somebody cheats on the Many of your friends that are saying, oh, they're lying. They're lying. They are still with those people who done probably cheated on them four, five, six times, and they're with them still. You need to ask yourself why. You know, so it's, 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 it really depends. It depends on the relationship, depends on what you've built. It depends on, um, what you want for the two of you and how committed that person is and whether they're remorseful and all of that it really depends on a lot. Okay. That's going to be the last question for part one. I'm going to start part two now and answer the remaining questions. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. Make sure that you are ready for when part two drops because it will drop. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.